Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to mint CBRC20 tokens. CBRC is a new token standard on top of the Bitcoin blockchain. It's basically an upgrade to what is known as a BRC20. So the way to mint this is basically very egregious because it's not as smooth as you might have experienced on the Ethereum blockchain. And the reason is that this is very new. So imagine the early days of Bitcoin when their tools were not really properly done. When you are minting like this, it's when you know that you are actually early in the technology. So first thing you're going to need is to have a, a, a wallet. And I'm going to use the Unisat wallet for this matter. So you have to fund your wallet, obviously, with some Bitcoin. It's free to get a Unisat wallet. You can also do this on mobile, by the way. And then you shall go to sideboard.org. This is the website name. It's sideboard.org. I'll put the link in the description for you guys as well. And then after that, you're going to go to the crafter. So what I want to mint right now is a token called Let's just go to the list of tokens that are here. So there's a link on Dune Analytics that is basically keeping track of all the mints taking place on CBRC20. So you can look at this, but the most important part is here. It shows you the mint limit to how much you can mint. So for board, for example, it has a total supply of 21 million tokens but you could only mint a thousand maximum so and it's also showing you this is at 124 percent it, it means that board is fully minted out maximum is 100 the 24 percent basically didn't materialize so you have to be careful to not spend your gas money on um, mints that are not going to work you have to mint something that actually is not fully minted out like the rest of it here so for example i want to mint data and also hodl so hodl is at 45 percent you can also check this out if you go to the explore meta ops and if you go here you can see all the mints that have been completed and also the ones that are still going on so i want to mint data because I just think data is cool and I've seen a lot of people are still talking about it. So I will go back to the crafter. All right. And I'll put my reception, my receiving address. So I'll use this Unisat wallet still to receive. I'll just copy the, my address. I'll go on receive. It will give me the address. I'll copy it, dump it right here as a receiving address. And the ticker, the tick of what I want to mint, I'll say data, the mint amount. So I have to know how much data can actually, um, I can mint to the max. All right. So this is something that I have to figure out. I can go to Dune Analytics to see if it's available here. Okay. If it's not, then I have to. Uh, find it somewhere, but I do know the maximum for data already. It's a thousand. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 1000 on it. Okay, so many tabs here. I'm losing track of things. Here we go. Data 1000. And here it says the content type to explain. If you want to save gas fees, you can put zero on it. A lot of people do but I like to put the name so that I can actually keep track of them easily in my wallet. Just like the way if I go into my Unisat wallet, you see I have board here. This board text is coming because I did put the content type, uh, the MIME type here as the name. So I will generate the transaction and you can select the fee here and um, you can also choose to get, to buy Cyborg a drink, who is the creator of this whole thing. So this is the address that I need to pay to. Okay. And I will go to my wallet, Unisat, and send the amount that I'm supposed to send. Okay, I need to send this amount of 
7,704 uh, 7, 7, sats It's how much I'm supposed to pay. Okay, so let's go back. Um, again, copy this. Unisat, send, recipient, and the amount is 77204 Satoshis. Okay, so it says an available balance because I think my wallet is already purchasing something. But what you can do here is to just confirm, select the average transaction, um, which is 370 sats per byte right now, and that is fine. You can just submit that transaction, and then here you go to send meta ops, which is another uh, way to do it is that if you click the send the meta op you can completely sign it automatically with your wallet instead of sending the transaction on your own so if i sign it it could go through but again my wallet has already a transaction running so it might not work but that's basically how you do it and after that you get a success message and you have now minted out your CBRC20 token. And once that's done, your tokens should be able to show up in your Unisat wallet like this. A block might show up with a name. If you actually gave it some text, it should be able to show up here. And then you can go ahead and just mint more. So I can go to the Explore Meta Ops to see if I wanna mint something else. This time around, I want to mint HODL. Mont, uh, HODL seems to be going well. It has had uh, 1,971 min mints, 464 wallet, and um, it's at 46%. So I wanna mint some of this. I'll go back to the crafter, and I also know what the limit here. The limit is 5,000 for HODL. So I will go back to the crafter, try to mint it as well. Put my address right here the receiver address have to make sure it's a taproot address and I'll put hodl amount I'll put 5000 and the type the text here I'll keep it hodl as well and generate again we face by fees Send Meta Op to sign the transaction with our wallet. Go ahead, sign and pay. And we just have to wait now. Okay. And when it's all successful, it should be able to show up in our wallet. I don't know what's happening. It's supposed to pop up with a success message, but it's not. So if it doesn't work, just have to try again. But this is basically how we do it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you appreciate it. I'll, I'm making an entire series of CBRC20 tokens, BRC20 tokens, and the Audino space in general. So if you want to succeed in this space, subscribe to Crypto University, and most importantly, join our alpha group. The link is in the description below. Stay awesome.